Hi there, and welcome to my review for Dark River, which is the new film by Cleo Barnard. Um, so, uh, Cleo Barnard is a director who's been based in Yorkshire for quite a while now. She's made three films. So she made The Arbor in 2010, she made The Selfish Giant in 2013, and this is her new film, Dark River. So Dark River basically follows uh, a woman played by Ruth Horson, who gains ownership of a farm in the Yorkshire Dales. Um, I have well, I'm not in Yorkshire Dales. It's definitely the Pennines. It's definitely in Yorkshire. Um, she had she had ownership of this farm, and uh, her and her brother find a conflict over it. Um, her, it then comes out throughout the story that she had toured with her father, played by Sean Bean, and there and then there's a whole bunch of issues with her and the now and, and the tenancy farm that she now owns. Um, the thing that's interesting, I kind of guess, is straight away, this is kind of a contrast to what Cleo Barnard as a director has kind of done in, in her previous films. So The Arbor were um, the selfish giant, very much films about council estates, and very much films about impoverished people in Bradford, um, which I personally found to be brilliant. I, like, like The Arbor is one of the best films of the decade, I, I genuinely think that. Um, and The Selfish Giant is similarly great. It really sort of brought Cleo Barnard to sort of a bigger audience. She got nominated for at the BAFTA for Best British Film. And this is, by contrast, a very rural film. Um, now, th this apparently wasn't intentional. It wasn't like she wanted to get away from the urban stuff. It's just, it's kind of a, it's kind of just a different sort of setting. But what's interesting is that a lot of her key stuff sort of comes through again. So, her first two films in many ways dealt with people who were... It dealt with like communities, it dealt with people who were sort of impoverished, it dealt with, you know, sort of a lot of conflict to do with that sort of thing. Dark River returns to that sort of idea. A lot of it is to do with tenancy farming, it's to do with the commodification of land. It also then touches on some other stuff. There's some stuff to do with, uh, w uh, to do with how women are treated, perhaps even objectified, and that sort of thing. Um, so there's definitely a lot of meaty stuff to sort of dig into regarding what the film is about. Um, the the cast is uniformly great. Wolf Wilson is brilliant in the lead. Uh, the newcomer, I think, Mark Stanley plays her brother, and he he he's a he's a real standout as well. Sean Bean is a small role, and he and he's pretty good. It's very interesting. So it's a lot of stuff about so because it's about a lot of things about commodification of land of women of different things like this. There's a lot of real social meaty gritty sort of issues to it. It also has. In the same way that the Arbor and the Savage Giant did, a real sense of realism and of social conscience. It's all about thinking about how communities and society works and how people are treated and has a lot of stuff there. It also has some very sort of moving interactions between characters that are done in very sort of small, subtle and not like heartfelt ways. It's about how these people interact. And it's about getting a sense of the community. I feel like in the same way, like I understand the council, like I, you know, can the council estate one, I understand that community. That is something I, I, I know about. And so she really captures that in her previous movies. And I, although I have no sort of frame of reference for the verbal stuff in the same way, it felt sort of genuine. Like I genuinely believe that all of this could sort of happen. Um, I feel like there's obviously some exaggeration with Dark River. And that might be kind of why I think it's... Cleo Barnard's weakest film of her three, if, if I'm being perfectly honest, and I think part of that is because there's a couple of moments where it goes sort of into sort of like like weirder areas to do with sort of flashbacks and visions and stuff, which is kind of more difficult. Um, but overall, it's really moving. It's really simple. It's effective. I think it has nice ideas. I don't think it's. I think it. I think unlike Cleo Barnard's earlier work, it doesn't quite have the it doesn't quite have the strength of simplicity. It's a bit. It's a, it is. It is a simple story, but it's a bit more. There's a. There's a bit more. There's kind of more layers to it, and I feel like they're often kind of. Uh, some of them are particularly sort of predictable and cheesy. And whilst that doesn't mean her films weren't predictable, it does kind of mean that more predictability is not a good thing. But what this does have absolutely though is a compassion. It's compassionate for its characters and for the scenario that maybe people find themselves in. So it has so basically Dark River has all of Cleo Barnard's strengths. It has Cleo Barnard's strong compassion, it has her strong motivation to tell stories to people that are underrepresented in film and in society. She has all that there. She maintains her, her, her love for Yorkshire, it seems, yet another Yorkshire-based film. She has a lot of stuff that I really like about her work. Um, 
And incidentally, the, the cinematography is really good. The way Yorkshire looks and the countryside looks is superb. Um, but uh, she really captures sort of the grit and the everyday life aspect. Where I think it stumbles as it sort of goes a bit into falsehood, a bit into cheesiness. It kind of falls back on tropes that you didn't need to um, have it. But I think it's a solid work. I think it's a sort of film which I'd recommend heartily to people. Um, I can't say it's, you know, something that's going to be a favourite of mine for years in the same way that Brother Selfish Giant and The Arbor are among my, you know, favourites of this decade. I think it's perhaps a disappointment in that sense that it hasn't matched her previous two. But it's not a, but by no means is this a bad film. It's really solid and it nails what it needs to. I think I'd say, I'd say this is pretty much recommended. I'd say this is worth seeing. Um... It's not necessarily a must-see, but I think if you're interested, I think you should definitely sort of give it a, give it a go. Especially what I'm saying is, I think it's a good film. If you if you like what I've said here, give it a like. You can subscribe if you want to see, find out my other reviews. If you want to keep up to date with what I think, you can also follow me on Twitter or on Letterboxd. Links in the description. And I think that's it. Dark River. It's a good film.